guys and my loves welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to yet another video with me if you're new here my name is danelle mall and to my retaining subscribers thank you so much for the continuous support and welcome to yet another video with me so as per usual don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new so i hope you love it enough for you to stay and subscribe so today we're going to be making a sunday course together i'm going to be sharing easy recipes that you can use to make a sunday course it doesn't really take a lot just basic things but it tastes so good it tastes so good so i've got my ingredients here at the back as you can see here i've got my things ready for me so i'm gonna start chopping them i'm gonna start dicing them you know start doing the things and i'm gonna start cooking and i'm gonna take you guys along with me so i hope you're gonna enjoy this video i hope you're also gonna try it out so next time i don't want to hear somebody say hey i can't do a sunday cause when i gave you this easy peasy recipes right <laughs> take some serious multitasking like you know to do all of this but as you can see my ingredients are ready so i've chopped all of my ingredients you would have seen already so here i have my carrot grated and then i have this uh freshly cut spinach for me i bought it from checkers so i like convenience you know that so here it is it's ready and then here's my spinach as well it's ready to cook and then here i've got my mushrooms as well cut and ready to cook and then my peppers and the onion is underneath the peppers in there and then there is my butternut so there's my butternut and then it's also pre-cut for me so i bought it ready to cook so you know how your goal is you know how your goal is i like convenience so we're gonna start cooking now and I'm just gonna take you through the whole process. So yeah, now let's start cooking. So the first thing, um, I'm going to cut my margarine so I can put it inside my butternut as well in the mushrooms. That's for the creamy spinach that I'm about to make. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So remember I told you guys that I measure with my sisters. So <laughs> this is that part. So I think this will be enough for the mushrooms and I think this will be enough for the butternut. Throw it in there and then oopsie daisy. So I'm just gonna close until it starts melting and then I'm gonna check on it later. So now I'm just gonna wait for the stove to get hot so you can start cooking. So now I'm also going to put cooking oil in here uh, for my chakalaka. So I'm going to take some of this carrots as well and put it in here for the chakalaka. So as you can see, I just mixed um, different peppers, the red, the green and the yellow as well as onions. And then I'm going to put in some cooking oil in here and then I'm going to put my carrots as well. And then I'm going to put some spices as well along the process. You will see all of that. But so far so good, we are ready to go. So <clears throat> let me put my cooking oil. So I guess we do this differently. Differently, Some people prefer to heat up the oil first and then put 
the stuff inside so i'm just gonna put the oil first with the ingredients and let it start cooking so we all have different techniques of cooking so yeah i'm gonna do that so i'll give you like an update as things start boiling and frying you know so for now i'm gonna put my rice in here so i'm gonna take out my rice and put it into here i use brown rice because you girls trying to eat healthy <laughs> so here's my rice so i'm just gonna pour some in there again no exact measurements but here we go i'm cooking for myself so i'm gonna pour enough just for me so that's enough because i'm considering the fact that i have all this other stuff going on that will be on my plate so i'm just gonna put just a small portion because i'll have all this other salads and meat going on on my plate so yeah let's go since we're still waiting for my stuff to start boiling and cooking i'm gonna start with my coleslaw salad so i'm making a coleslaw salad so i'm gonna use cabbage and carrots so just gonna pour half of it into the container and then the remaining one i'm gonna use like um during the week to cook to cook it with something else because i live alone and obviously this is a lot uh for one person so it is a lot for one person so yeah i think that's good save the rest for the rest of the week and then i'm just gonna take a portion of this carrot and put it in here i'm gonna take out my mayo and then i'm gonna mix this got my mayo now so i'm just gonna put it into the coleslaw and after that guess what we'll be done one salad down and ready to go so i'm just gonna pour enough and mix it and then check if it's mixed properly and then if there's a need for more carrots or more cabbage then i'll just see but for now i'm just gonna mix it to see if it's enough so guess what as i'm busy mixing i'm thinking like shouldn't this thing be cooking already and boiling Gandhi. i forgot to switch on the stove on the plug the main plug i didn't switch it on so i'm here waiting for things to start cooking little do i know i didn't switch it on but anyway it's not a train smash so here's my coleslaw ready to go so now we're gonna prepare the rest of the stuff looks so good already can't wait to dish up. so yeah let's wait for the other stuff i think while we're waiting for the other stuff we're gonna start um marinating our chicken and put it in the oven My food has started cooking so it's looking good so while it's cooking I'm gonna try and wash my chicken and marinate while the others are still cooking I'm just gonna be multitasking and checking on everything all at the same time so for now let me wash this chicken you can see my peppers have already started cooking and I'm happy with that so I'm just gonna you know check on them just stir them so they don't burn i'm gonna leave them for a while and then after that i'm gonna add my spices and then add the carrot as well and then at a later stage i'm gonna add the beans my mushrooms are ready i'm just gonna go ahead and add my spinach into the mushrooms and allow them to cook um, by themselves 
So I don't usually add water into my spinach. I just close the lid and allow the food to cook by itself using like, you know, the steam and the heat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and wait for it to cook. And I'll show you in the process how it's looking like. So I'm just gonna mix them together for now and make sure they come together oopsie daisy. So I opted to use a small pot because my spinach is not really a lot. So this pot should do the things. Should do the things. So let me get the lid so I can close it. And let them cook for a while. And for now, let's look at our peppers. They look like um, they're ready now. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put in some spices and then I'm also gonna add my carrot into the mixture. So I'm gonna use this, the hot raja, because of the um, chakalaka, I want it hot. So I'm gonna add some of that in here. Okay, I think that's enough. Remember, I don't use, I don't use measurements, so I do. <laughs> Ooh, what I think is best and then I'm gonna add in some parsley as well Okie dokie because I like my chakalaka hot I'm also gonna go ahead and add this crushed chili enough to make my food hot it's enough to make my food hot so as you can see this thing is not coming out properly so it's coming bit by bit but it's okay it's okay it's okay okay I think that's enough now I'll just taste them later to see to see how it tastes like so now I'm gonna mix them together And it's already smelling so good. You know that advert that says, hmm, Raja. <laughs> the Raja will give you that smell. So yeah, I'm out here, I'm gonna mix this and then, now I'm gonna put in the carrot. And then I'm just gonna mix it together and let it blend together. And then after that, I'm gonna leave it for a while to cook. And then I'm gonna come check on it as time goes on. But for now, I'll quickly wanna check my pumpkin as well because um, I don't want it to burn. So with the pumpkin, I also add a little bit of water, a little bit, just to make sure that my pumpkin doesn't burn and it's cooking well. It's actually butternut, it's not pumpkin, but let me bring it closer. You can see it's cooking well. So it's cooking very well. So I'm just gonna close and leave it. So let me bring you closer to see the spinach. As you can see, it's slowly cooking. And obviously spinach is 
yeah you know it's that vegetable that start to shrink when it starts cooking so now as you can see it's shrinking and yeah i'm just okay with that it's fine so i'm just gonna allow it to cook for a while and then after that i'm gonna add my salt and then um my cream of mushroom soup as well to make it nice and creamy so i'll show you so as you know the spinach doesn't take long to cook so i'm gonna add this the cream of mushroom into the spinach so i'm just gonna pour some into the cup just enough to make my spinach thick so if you're not sure obviously pour a little and measure as you go so i'm gonna pour in a little bit of water And if you want, you can substitute the water with milk as well. That works perfectly, and it adds more creaminess to to the spinach. So I'm just gonna do this quickly, so I can put it into my spinach. So let's do this. bit of water because there's a little bit of um, soup left underneath so I'm gonna pour it in there and put it there and I'm gonna start mixing my spinach I'll show you a close-up how it's already looking like I'll give you a close-up so remember with um, Spinach, you can always give it a twist of how you like your things, right? So you don't always have to do what I do it's like to the core. You can always add your garlic if you like garlic. You can always add your cheese if you want it to be cheesy. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt in there. Give it a stir again. So this is how it's looking like now. So this is how it's looking like now. As you can see, I'm gonna let the cream thicken up, the cream soup, uh, the cream of mushroom soup to thicken up, and our spinach will be ready to go. Okay, so now since like my stuff is cooking very well now, and also just a tip, don't cook on a, a high number, because I put it at four, for everything in order for me to have control over everything because if you put it on a high heat uh, your stuff but it's gonna burn really quickly and you don't want that so put it on a low heat so you can have control of everything that you're doing so you don't have to be running around like a madman so as you can see everything is cooking slowly and perfectly so I'm just gonna wait for this to cook a little bit longer before I add my beans as well as my salt into this so it's ready to go it's ready to go and it tastes so delicious i didn't really add a lot of things but i can guarantee you the taste the taste of this believe me it tastes so good so like i said my spinach is ready and it tastes so good so i'm just gonna switch off the stove and we're good to go we're good to go and i'm happy with it guys yo it tastes so good i don't know mm. 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 you need to try this i guarantee you you won't regret it you will not regret it so that's it we're done with the spinach for today we are done with the spinach for today so now let me check my pumpkin as well it seems to be coming along very well so i'm gonna mash the, the pumpkin up so i'm gonna add some sugar to the pumpkin i like my pumpkin with sugar but obviously not a lot of it just enough um to give me 
some sweetness. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So first, let me get my sugar. Have my sugar here. I'm gonna take out a spoon, wipe it up, and then it's going into the pumpkin. my pumpkin is sort of ready as you can see I think it's ready to be mashed up because I'm doing a mashed pumpkin so let me quickly turn off the stove so it doesn't burn and then I'm gonna focus on the chakalaka because it seems to be ready and then I'll get back to the pumpkin and mash it chakalaka is ready now um, my mixture is ready I'm gonna throw in some beans in here. So, I'm coming back just now. So, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm going to pour in some of the beans into the mixture, but you wanna measure it nicely so you don't create the beans first in your chakalaka. So, I'm just gonna pour in a little bit and then mix to see. How it comes together and then I'll decide if I need to pour more but basically I poured half of it now into here and I think already I can see that I'm happy with the amount of beans that I have in here so I don't want to pour more so I'm going to pour the rest into my container as per usual the rest of the beans will be used with other meals during the week so in order to manage to have anything to lift over, we're gonna put it into other mills. So I'm gonna pour some salt now into my chakalaka for taste. And then I'm gonna taste it and see how it tastes like. If I'm happy with it, then continue. I'm gonna switch off the stove. I've got enough salt and I'm happy with the taste. Okay, so now I'm happy with my chakalaka. So I'm just gonna give you a close up to see what it looks like. As you can see my chakalaka is ready and i'm just gonna turn off the stove because we are done cooking this baby and it tastes so good it tastes so 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 good now i almost forgot about my rice i almost forgot about my rice let me quickly wash it I just wash my rice um in the sink so now i'm gonna put some turmeric into the rice because i want it to be colorful and yellow for the presentation of cars <laughs> so i'm gonna put some bit of turmeric in here and let it cook for a while but it's gonna be ready soon so i think that's enough and i'm just gonna mix to make sure it's enough in there so i'm just gonna do that um it's like i need to add a little bit more I think that's good so I'm just gonna let this cook for a while and then after this I'm gonna switch this is also off. ready now so I'm just gonna mash it up and it's ready to go I switched off the stove I added the sugar and I think I'm happy with it so I'm just gonna mash it up with my wooden spoon and it should be ready to go so I'll give you a close-up of how it looks like and also how the rest of the stuff is looking but it's looking good and then now we can move on to our meat so i neglected the meat because um <laughs> it's the last thing i'm gonna do so so i'm gonna close this up and i'll wait for later 
to dish up so there's the rice as you can see yellow turning yellow it's cooking once the water is done it's going to be ready we're going to move on to our chicken and i'm just going to make it very simple quick and easy i'm not going to complicate anything so this is the spice that i'm using um i got this at Shoprite, and i've got the obvious huh? the obvious <laughs> i've got six gun and then i've got those barbecue sauce i got it at checkers so i'm just gonna go ahead and marinate everything together and yeah we'll see how it turns out So first I mix, I mix the two spices together in the chicken and then I rub them all over the chicken before I add my sauce. And one reason I added the six gun is because it has more saltiness compared to the other spice, which is like more subtle and sometimes you don't really taste the flavor. So I needed the six gun for the salty element. And then I'm also going to add um, my sauce now. Um, let's do that. So I'm gonna add the sauce here. So I'm just gonna rub it all over my chicken as well. Just gonna take the chicken in the sauce. Now my chicken is ready and all spiced up. This is how it's looking. So this dish is oven safe. So I'm gonna throw this into the oven. I set it up to grill and then I put it at 180 degrees. So I'm just gonna throw it in there for a good 30 minutes and see how it comes out. Okie dokie, so now let's wait for the chicken to cook and we'll check it later and then I'll dish up. Okay, so now my food is ready and I'm gonna dish up for myself and I'm gonna show you guys the end results. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and dish up for myself and also take some snacks for the gram. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, what are you waiting for? So follow me. So to plate my rice, I'm gonna use this cup Obviously, presentation it's where it's at, so I'm gonna use this cup. Okay, so now I'm done with my chicken, and this is how it looks like. Mm -mm -mm. Look at how delicious that look. So I'm gonna dish up now, and I'm gonna show you guys the end results. Like I said, so yeah, let's do this so here you go guys so this is the finished product look at how beautiful this looks i mean i mean come on <laughs> so i really really hope that you guys are gonna try this out and enjoy so this is the end product and mm, mm, mm. okay that's it that's a wrap we are done for today thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to comment and like and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here i hope you love it enough to subscribe and become part of the family so yeah see you next time see you on my next video stay blessed and yeah bye